Good morning students. I am your Farzana ma'am from your school St. Joseph Public School and we you know me as your English teacher. I am here with your first lecture of your English and it is your text uh, book which you have written the name of your textbook is your honeycomb. Just remove your honeycomb book and get ready with your first chapter and the first chapter name is who did Patrick's homework? Let us see the reading and then understand the lesson. Hope you are ready with your book children. Before you read what they are telling us to do, it is your discuss in class. What they are telling us to discuss in class? Let us read and find out. Do you like homework? Do you like children? I think 99% uh, children will be saying no. Do you do it yourself or do you get help? Homework do uh, what homework do you usually have? So, here these are the few questions which has been asked before you start your uh, lesson that is your story ahead. So, here you may be having some positive answer, some negative answer, but there is a character in this lesson in the story which we are going to start reading and understand it. He is Patrick and he is the child like you going to school, he is a school boy and he may be as this lesson has been chosen for you that is your sixth standard. So, he is also I hope uh, we can assume that he is also a child from sixth standard and what is his problem? how he is going to improve his problem or solve his problem or who is going to help him in solving his problem. Let us see, see here there is a one is given for the paragraph and at the side of it right side you can see this uh, colorful box away with its meaning. So, we have the meaning also right in front of us. Let us begin. Patrick never did homework, too boring he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you would not learn a thing. And it is true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus, but what could he do? He hated homework. Let us see the second. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it was not a doll. I will read first two, three para and then we will continue explanation. As it is, it is very simple English. You may be understanding my reading. To his surprise, it was not a doll. Turn your book to next page, children. But it was not a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch. He yelled, save me, do not give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish, I promise you that. Let us read two more. Patrick could not believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So, he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that is 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. Next para, the little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed, but I will do it. 
So, see not only Patrick, but this man uh, which uh, the uh, which your uh, character that is Patrick was thinking was a toy. Uh, it was not a toy, it was a man, a small tiny man and he also do not like to do the homework. Let us see from the beginning, turn your, turn your book, uh, turn your page back children. And so, in the first para, what it is telling you? that Patrick never did homework, wo kabhi homework nahi karta tha aur kya bolta tha ke ye kaam jo hai bohat boring hai, kya kaam hai homework karna. Uske bajai yani ki homework karne ke bajai wo kya karta tha instead matlab hindi mein mene bola abhi bajai wo kya karta tha khelta tha, kya kya khelta tha hockey, basketball aur Nintendo. You have the ex, uh, see over here explanation of Nintendo. It's a video game. So you children, I know you are always busy playing your uh, video games. His teachers told him, teachers kya bolte the unke Patrick homework karo nahi to tumko kuch bhi nahi learn hoga. Tum kabi kuch aage nahi bad paoge. Okay, and it's true. Or wo sach baat hai. कभी कभार क्लास में वो कैसा लगता था वो didn't feel like an ignoramus sometimes he did feel like यानी कि वो सचमुच ही uneducated लगता था see ignoramus what's the meaning given for you in your book an ignorant person who lacks education so जिसमें education की कमी होती है उसको ignoramus बोलते हैं but what could he do? But uski alava game khelne ke alava usko kya uh, kar sakta tha? Kyunki usko homework to pasand hi nahi tha. Wo nafrat karta tha homework se. Hated means nafrat. Okay, dislike. Then one day, fir ek din unhone kya dekha? Unki jo billi hai ghar mein pali bhi hogi, unki khud ki billi, wo ek little doll se khel rahi thi. So, uh, uh, our Patrick has taken a toy from the side of Billy, se wo toy, uh, li, grab, matlab, lena, to take it away immediately. To his surprise, and as he saw the doll jo dikh rahi thi, usko, jaisi unhone haat mein liya, ke cat, se, kya dekha unhone? Ke wo doll nahi hai, wo छोटा सा आदमी है, tiniest size of man, छोटा सा आदमी है, बोना जिसको बोलते हैं, उनके कपड़े कैसे थे? उनका shirt wool का था और old fashion breeches था और जो उनकी lowers थी, जो old fashion breeches थी, what is breeches over here? Actually ये spelling breeches की गलत है, it is telling us that it is being used by the writer to match with the word which, rhyming words थोड़ा लेना था उनको but the actual spelling of breeches is over here b r w e c h e s or short trousers short trousers hote hain jo thode capri ke jaise hote hain ghutno ke thode niche hote hain the writer here spells it for fun fun ke liye inhone ye spelling diye breeches ki to rhyme with the word which is okay so unhone kya kiya uh, wo jo uh, chhota sa bona tha unhone zor se chillaya um, save me, मुझे बचा लो और मुझे उस cat को वापस मत दो. Don't give me back to that cat. I'll grant और उसके बदले तुम अगर मुझे बचाओगे तो क्या बोला वो tiny man ने कि मैं तुम्हें wish दूँगा. जो भी तुम मांगोगे मैं उस wish को आपकी uh, desire को उसकी इच्छा आपकी इच्छा को पूरा करूँगा. I promise you that. और promise किया कि मैं ये ज़रूर करूँगा. आपकी wishes सब पूरी uh, करने में help करूँगा. Promise भी किया. Patrick को ये जो भी हो रहा था, आ, ये यानी कि surprise थे, ये यकीन नहीं कर रहे थे कि ये ए, कितना आ, मैं इतना कुछ lucky हो सकता हूँ क्या? Couldn't believe how lucky he was, क्योंकि उनका जो desire था, आ, जो बहुत पहले का कि कोई मुझे help कर दे homework करने के लिए, वो come through होने वाला था. Here was the answer to all his problems. Unka problem ka answer unko mil gaya, solution mil gaya. So he said, unho ne kya bola wo uh, tiniest man ko? Only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. Unho ne semester tak unko homework karne ke liye bola hai, sara ke sara. Wo bhi kitne din ka semester hai? 35 days. Agar tum ne ye kar diya, uh, end of uh, good enough job, agar tum ne ye kar diya, to mujhe, तुम्हारे इस काम के बदले 
ए मिल सकता है ए ग्रेड मिलेगा मुझे ओके फिर ये पैराग्राफ में क्या है टाइनी लिटिल मैन ने कैसा मुंह बनाया एकदम मुंह बना दिया मुंह बिसूर लिया अपना रिंकल लाइक अ डिश क्लॉथ उनका मुंह कैसे हो गया जैसे एक आ, कपड़े को हम गीला करके निचोड़ लेते हैं ना वी जस्ट रिस्ट द क्लॉथ विच इज ड्राई को नो वेट सो वो कपड़ा जिससे हम हमारा बर्तन जो है यूटेंसिल्स हम अपने धोते हैं वो कपड़ा तो और ही रिंकल वाला होगा उसको हम बार बार क्रम्पल करते रहते हैं तो वो रिंकल्ड वाला डिश क्लॉथ के जैसा उनका मुंह हो गया किसका लिटिल मैन का और कहाँ पर थ्रो हुआ हुआ है हेम्पर में ओके और ही किड हिज लेग्स एंड डबल उन्होंने अपने पैर पट के और अपनी जो मुट्ठी थी फिस्ट मतलब हाथ जब हम दबा लेते हैं उंगलियों को बीच लेते हैं फिस्ट बन जाता है मुट्ठी बन जाती है उन्होंने डबल हिज फिस्ट और उन्होंने एकदम ज़ोर से अपनी मुट्ठी को बंद किया ओके भीची अपनी उंगलियाँ मुट्ठी बना के डबल हिज फिस्ट मतलब ज़ोर से भीच लेना अपने हाथों को उंगलियों को एंड ही ग्रिमिस्ड एंड स्काउल्ड ग्रिमिस्ड स्काउल्ड एंड पर्स्ड इज लिप लिप्स यानी कि ये तीनों जो हैं आपके इच्छा अनुसार जो काम नहीं होता है तब आपके मुँह बन जाता है ओके मुंह बिसूर जाता है आपका डिस्गस्ट में एकदम अनवांटेड थिंग्स आपको बोला गया है करने के लिए तो आपका मुंह एकदम बिगड़ जाता है आपके uh, कुछ बोल नहीं सकते हो आप क्योंकि कि किसी ने बोला है आपको करने के लिए और आप मजबूर हो तो आप ना भी नहीं बोल सकते हैं तो ऐसा मुंह बन जाता है सी दिस मीनिंग ओवर ये ग्रिमिस काउल्ड पर्स्ड इज लिप्स यानी कि पर्स्ड ओवर यर लिप्स को थोड़ा टाइट कर लेना एक दूसरे से चिपका के हिज फेस हैड दिज एक्सप्रेशन शोइंग डिसगस्ट एंगर एंड डिसअप्रूवल यानी कि आप ये सब ना बोलने का ये तरीका होता है लोगों का ओ एम आई कर्स्ड लिटिल मैन ने क्या बोला क्या ये मेरे ऊपर बहुत बड़ा श्राप है बट आई डू इट फिर भी मैं करूँगा क्योंकि उन्होंने प्रॉमिस कर दिया था so children i'll stop over here this lecture for you and hope you have understood the both the pages if not just let me know and you'll be soon i'll be soon meeting you in my next lecture and we'll be continuing with our lesson do the reading of your lesson underline the words of your lesson and children just read it again and again so that you can understand it more better thank you children bye